What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use filter in Revisto. So currently, I am now on issue tracker. So this is the model that we are working on last video wherein I have shown you how to synchronize your clashes to the issue tracker. So when you are on the issue tracker, as you can see here, by default, I'm on the markup view. But you can also click here the 3D view of that uh, clash. All right, so that's our clash in 3D. All right, so let us filter this one out. So let's say, for example, out of my 15 issues here, what I would like to see here is how many um, minor items that I have here. Okay, so if this is just uh, 15 issues, you can just scroll down and then you can find it here. I have a couple of minor. Okay, so I have that one and then I have this one here. And here, so if I'm going to type here like uh, minor, you can't filter that one. So what you do is you go to the filter and then you can select here custom filter. Okay, so from the custom filter, these are the filters that you can use. This is very powerful. Okay, so if you know how to use your filter, it will save a lot of time. It will make your life in Revisto very easy and simple, just like this one. So if I'm going to select here the information icon of the clashes, so as you can see, this is a major. So this color is major. And then as you can see there, that's the priority. So this is the filter that we will be using. So we will be using from our custom filter by priority. So you can click that. Okay, and then you have two options here. So you have two types. So you have any, and then you have here none of. Okay, so first, if you're going to select any, so let's say you want to see only the minor, so you can just tick here minor. Just click that because that is any minor. Okay, so that's now your filter. Okay, so if you want to save your minor item filter, so what you can do is you can just select here, save filter. So let's click that one. So you can type here uh, minor items. And then you can create, create new preset or you can even update an existing preset. But for this one, this is the first time. So I'll just select create new preset and then I'll just select here create. Okay, so I now have that uh, filter. So if I'm going to clear the filter, I close the filter and then let's say oh I want to see the minor okay just click the filter here and then look for the presets and then you can now click here your minor item so as you can see you also have here um, other presets like um, all issues current issues closed issues my open issues watched by me reported by me and the one that we have created minor items so if I click that so there's my minor items very useful so let's say oh I want to filter as well the major so same procedure let's go to the custom filter and then from the priority click the priority and then I'm going to uncheck the minor I'm going to select major and then for this one I'm going to select save uh, filter again create new preset so I'll just type here uh, major items and that's it just select here create now let's say for example um, you want to include the status of your major items so let us include the major items status here so you can click this one and then you can select here any so what you want of course is all the major uh, clashes that is currently open so I'm going to select here open and then I want to see also the progress so I do not want to see the sold and close here I only want to see all the clashes with the priority of major priority that is open and in progress again I'm going to save the filter this time I'm going to update an existing preset which is my major items that one and then I'll select your update 
Okay, so that's how you filter. So you can filter it by assignee. So you have assignee there. So you can uh, filter it by assign company. So if you assign the clash to a company, so you can assign that. So you can, if you have several uh, clash tests, you can select here also clash tests. And then you'll be able to see here all the clash tests that you have made in this project. And then you can filter the clash test that will only show you the issues here based on the selected clash test. And you can explore this filter, which is very useful. Now, going back to my priority here. So I'm using here any tab. So meaning any uh, priority clashes here will be filtered. Now, the other one is none of. Okay, so the other one is none of. So, as you can see, the moment I selected none of, the major item here is check. That's why you will notice here it will not show any major items because this is on the none of tab. So any items that you check here, it will be uh, hidden from your issues list here. So let's say, oh, I don't want to see the, the minor items. So I'm going to select the minor items. So it will only show me the what? Critical. Okay. So you can create this filter as well. So based on none of uh, filter. Okay, so I can save this one again. Uh, I'm gonna create a new preset. So this is for my major. This is for my critical critical items, and then create. And then again, the status here is any open and in progress. Again, you can use none of tab here. So it's up to you. So basically, that's how you use your filter. So you have your presets here. And then you have your custom filter here. Okay. So you can filter out. Okay. So I would like to advise you to explore your filter because this is very powerful. So you can save uh, as many filters as you like. All right. So that's it for this uh, simple exercise. So if you have any comments, questions and suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day